because we're live. TNZ Live ATL. This is your girl, Trinetta. And Zenobia. Have your taste buds tested by Chef Diablo. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Chef Diallo, And today, I'm going to show the girls how to do real by Chef Yay. So today, guys, we're gonna start off with um, some, uh, we have different colored bell peppers. We have um, yellow bell peppers, red and orange bell peppers. We use these because they're sweet, and we use the onions as well because of the color in it as well, um, also. Oh, okay. So what we're gonna do, basically, we're gonna take a bell pepper, uh, remove the stem, and we're gonna make this pretty easy in cutting the bell peppers. Just wanna make sure you cut it uh, without the seeds. And as you're doing this, of course, just be real careful. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. You have the white piece here. Just want to make sure you remove the white piece. That's not really tasty when it comes to making shish kebabs. Or right. So do the the peppers really taste differently? Because I cut them up and I'm like, I just do it for color. The peppers are really sweet when it comes to <laughs> shish kebabs. You I'm can like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just, you know, you just get all free because you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, of course, the, the, the green ones, they're a little, for me, they taste a little different, okay. but for the color ones, they're really sweet. So okay. when it comes to shish kebabs, especially with the flavors that we have in them, it tastes, it you tastes know what? really good. No, sweet. I'm good. That knife is All enough. right, so, <laughs> so what do we do after that? Okay, sure. So once we, of course, do this, we would, yep, we would already take the, the skewer, so which we already have. Okay, the skewer? Yep, we have the skewer, okay. so we start off with the Is that a long toothpick? <laughs> <Basically>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So basically, what we're doing, we're taking the um, bell pepper, yeah, the bell pepper, but we also need to get the steak as well. So we have the steak over here, the ribeye. I already have it pre-marinated. Okay. Um, and now, how long did you marinate it? Um, twenty-four hours. Anything, oh, wow. anywhere from twelve to twenty-four hours. Okay. 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 Yeah, what we have, <laughs> what we have in that, we have um, pretty simple. We have the pineapple juice. We have red, uh, the apple cider um, vinegar. Red, red. Wow. Yep. We have some crushed red Ooh. peppers, and salt, and we have brown sugar. Ooh. Yes, yes. sounds yes. sweet and tasty. So we yep. just start piling this yep. stuff on. So basically, you would take a shish kebab and you would just start, of course, layering. You take your long toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> and you just layer. So of course, just uh, take it and of course add it on uh, for each one. Take some. And you really have to be careful with all this stuff. Yep, and don't stick yourself. Now I'm a seafood yeah. lover, so I can add shrimp and I can add salmon. Absolutely. And for the vegans out there, they would just keep adding keep the, the bell pepper, pepper and the onion <laughs> if you're a vegan. And then you have some broccoli too. So yes. for the vegans out there, you get your broccoli and all your um, vegetables, right? That is correct. And you can add mushrooms too. As well. And your oh, mushrooms, yeah. yeah. Mushroom, so vegan friendly if you want to do shish kebabs. Um, but for us meat eaters, yeah, that's okay. it. Oh my God. So this is a Chef Diallo uh, shish kebab. Ah, okay, cool. Okay. So what happens after that? Okay. So from here, basically, we would take them, put them on the grill. So depending on if you like yours medium, um, medium, medium rare, okay. of course, or well, or well done, put them on the grill for anywhere from about um, two or three minutes per side. Of course, make sure your grill is on high. Mm -hmm. And as you turn it, of course, just just make sure you don't burn the the, the bell peppers as well. Can you, you like put it oil. in the oven? You can put it in. The oven. Can you put it in the microwave? I don't know. About <laughs> <laughs> no, we live in a microwave society. <laughs> That is true. Not you want it quick, but of course, on a grill, it tastes much better. Yeah. All right. So awesome. The entire process from cutting everything to putting the shish kebabs on here is about 20 minutes, um, depending on how many shish kebabs you want. But for wow. the state, you want to make sure you pre marinate Okay. So tell us about what inspired you. Cook. Okay, so for me, what happened about six years ago, working for Corporate America, my wife, she had a stroke, a major stroke. Wow, she wasn't wow. able to walk or talk or anything. Wow. So, and I'm of sorry course, to hear that. yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, we was eating out a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, seven days a week. Oh, wow. oh my God. So every single day. Mm -hmm. But as a result of that, we were going to different places, trying different things. Of course, our taste buds got acclimated to really good food versus going to the typical exactly. uh, burger joint. So, right. you know, mm -hmm. as we started doing that, of course, yeah. Well, because she after she had the stroke, I had to pick up the responsibility of cooking. Good for you. Yeah. All right. So did you know how to cook prior? I knew by watching my aunties, my uh -huh. uncles, my grandmother, uh -huh. my mom microwaving stuff. So okay. I knew the concept of cooking. And at that time, I was extremely overweight. I was about 350 pounds. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at you. Oh, Life is great. I'm going to show you ladies how to do, of 
course, the um, broccoli. Um, okay. Okay. So course, what are we doing to the broccoli? So the broccoli, basically, we're blanching it for about two minutes, and okay. after we do that, we, I have a seasoned um, combination. We're going to put it in. And, I love um, broccoli. You love broccoli. I love broccoli. Yes, broccoli. Yeah, I absolutely love this. Really? <laughs> yes. So what do you when you blanch? What do you mean blanch? Blanch is putting in rolling boiling water for about okay. two minutes. Okay. And pull it out. Oh, that's it. That's it. I am for the first time in my life gonna branch blanch. Is it blanch broccoli? Oh, branch. Branch. Blanch. 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 Okay, blanch. Like the lady from Golden oh, Girls. Blanch. There you go. Ooh, <laughs> then it should be nice and interesting. <laughs> yeah, so basically we're just putting it all in. Um, on a rolling ball, it is, it's not going to splatter. It's not going to so, splatter. You know, I have to protect my investment. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. All right, cool. And once that's in, so I have my timer set for two minutes. And two minutes later, we would just basically take it out mm -hmm. and put our seasoning on. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Ah. Welcome back to TNZ Live ATL. We are here with Chef Diallo. And yay, all this deliciousness. Delicious. Oh my God. It looks so amazing. So Colorful. Yeah, so delicious. Chef Diallo, what do you want us to taste first? Oh, well, let's start off with the mashed potatoes. Okay, okay. all right. Potatoes. And I'm not really a mashed potato person. Okay. So let me just try Let me it. dig on let me it. Let me it. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, chef. Mm. Mm. This is good. Tell us about the potatoes. Mm. These are good. These are good. So with the potatoes, they're the oh red my god potatoes. Um, we left, we clean them, leave the peel on them. Mm -hmm. We also have garlic and cream cheese and heavy whipping cream as well. With salt and pepper. I don't know if it goes to my you diet, but the milk in them or the heavy whipping cream. The whip oh, okay. wait a minute, you supposed to be vegan? You're not supposed to all that. Mm. I don't know, but I'm tasting. Oh wait, wait, you got to tell us what to taste. Slow down. Come on, hurry up and taste. What do you want to say? Let's taste. go for this rock. Okay. <laughs> She's already started. Mmm, the blanched broccoli. Mmm, blanched on, brother. Mmm. And now, mmm, you put this in water. Yep, so we salted the water. We put mm. it in um, water, boiled it for about, on high boil mm -hmm. for about two minutes. Mm -hmm. And after that, we, of course, put some seasoning on with butter, garlic, Your and rosemary. Your favorite ingredient. Yep, my favorite yes. ingredient. Mm -hmm. So, and there you have it. This is tantalizing my taste buds, which is the name of this company, Taste Buds. So, taste buds. now the next will be. Of course, the ribeye for you. Eee! You got that? Oh my God. The one that I made, it looks like, huh? Mm. Is there any particular way? I'm not bougie, oh, like my co host. Oh, goodness. How come mine doesn't have any meat? Mmm. You can get me to yummy. Mmm. Mmm. They're just roasted to perfection. It's really, really tasty. Mm. Awesome. Satisfying my taste. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I'm gonna have to take a table on pat platter. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. You guys, this is taste buds. Catering them over. Mmm. Mm. Absolutely. This is amazing. I'm Round of applause. <laughs> Woo! This, you definitely have you to go out and get some taste buds. Catering, call them up. Go to his social media. All his information. Go get it. This is, this is amazing. This is a takeout or cook at home. Cook at home. Chef Ramsey or Chef Boyardee? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going with Chef Ramsey. Now who's the better cook, you or your wife? Ooh. I am. Ah! He said knitting on national TV. <laughs> hey, he's a better cook than his wife. That's a brave man. <laughs> Seasoning salt or salt? Take out or taste bud. Taste bud. <laughs> yes, taste bud. We so appreciative you. of you. Yes. Yeah, coming into the T Stars Entertainment Cooking <laughs> Studios and doing this for us, Chef. We really appreciate yes. you. You traveled a long way, all the way from Douglasville. So, <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much Absolutely. again for coming. Everybody, check out Taste Buds on all your social media platforms. All the information will be below. You so you guys, sure. you know what we say at the end of each show. Share the love. Spread the love. Be the love you, you want to find. find. So when you cook it, you got to think about us now when you get your apron going on. Okay. <laughs> all right. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.